My name is Guy Thier. I'm the CIO of Bally Total Fitness. I'm responsible for information technology, interactive digital media, social media, as well as call center and member services. Customer service in the fitness industry has been horrific, quite honestly. Um, Bally was founded 30 years ago, and their business model was get you to sign a three-year contract, and then we won't only talk to you if you stop paying us. And uh, that, that's just horrible if you're a consumer and you want to have some interaction with the organization, especially when you're trying to uh, go work out, lose weight, it's painful, you, you want a, a support system in place, and the fitness industry really had that lacking. The Member Interaction Hub is really the foundation for not just the call center transformation, but the transformation of the entire company. So it's really moving from uh, what Bally used to be as a collection agent for memberships that were sold to a true member service and support function, where if you call and you're having difficulty at the club, a uh, complaint about the club, or you're just trying to quit, we can have an intelligent conversation and talk about the benefits of working out, what can we do to help, what have we done wrong, and really start altering the conversation from, hey, you owe us money, to, hey, how can we help you? The Member Interaction Hub was really the focal point of all of those interactions across every channel. My use of Kana was really built around uh, the integration expertise that Kana brought to the table. I have some fairly old legacy systems that uh, the timing was not right to replace them. So we had to build a foundation on top of uh, that legacy and create uh, a unified vision of a member, even though my legacy system doesn't have a unified vision of a member. So, so that uh, integration expertise was really the key to success. And then the standard off-the-shelf Kana uh, product was great, and the uh, integration for call center technologies was great, so it was really a good starting point for the entire project. The before this initiative was, uh, again, it was a bad member experience where the only time you heard from Bally was if it was a phone call asking for money. If you called us, and requested some information. A call center rep would have to go to multiple systems, sometimes write notes on paper, walk it over to someone else to look up. It could be a two or three day response time on fairly simple things like, I would like a copy of my contract. Now with Kana in place, it's instantaneous. If you call us and request information, your workout history, all of your documents are at an agent's fingertips, easy to send via email, and uh, our handling time went down significantly, which is nice, but it doesn't tell the whole story. The whole story is the handling time went down significantly, even though the calls are way more complicated. So from a collection call standpoint, it used to take a long time to convince someone to give us money and threaten them and all kinds of bad behavior. And now it's more sophisticated questions like, hey, when is my contract up? How does it look like? If I want to quit, how do I do it? I uh, have intelligent conversations about why they shouldn't quit and offers to save them. So uh, we had both benefits of reduced call time and increased call complexity because of Kana. For a long time, uh, there wasn't a standardized approach to dealing with members at Bally. It was individual heroes or worse yet, individual lack of heroes in talking to customers. So we wanted to instill uh, a best practices approach, which is here's how you deal with members in certain situations, here's scripts to use, uh, here's the tone based on the type of member, if they're a long member, if they hardly use the club, if they use the club a lot. So a lot of uh, analytics went into which member category should be spoken to in what manner, and creating that culture across the company has been the, the target for the One Valley One Way. The metrics Bally's using now is very different than the metrics Bally did use a few years ago. So in the past, it was all about how much money did someone collect from a phone conversation or um, you know, how much cost was associated with collecting that revenue. Now we're looking at very different metrics, such as net promoter scores, uh, social media, positive versus negative impressions, and really starting to drive home the member service aspects to get consumer acceptance higher, and Bally's consumer acceptance was pretty bad and it's steadily moving up. Uh, get more net promoters, so people who promote Bally to others. Again, it was very bad and starting to move up nicely. So all of this is coming together to a, form a new gym experience across social media as well as contact center. Well, my hope is Bally becomes the Starbucks of the fitness industry as far as customer experience. So it's, it's a place you want to go to because of that experience. 
you, you feel you belong there even though it's, it's a business customer relationship. You feel you're part of something when you walk in the door, kind of the cheers uh, mentality, everyone shouts your name when you walk in. That's what we're really trying to get to. Uh, and then we're going to try and build some cross-club competition to again foster that sense of a community where one club's miles run or weights pushed versus another club and try and get everyone involved uh, in the club experience. Thank you.